Hello friends and welcome back to Animal Crossing. I am Peachy Lama here on YouTube and today we are back on my winter themed island, also my seasonal island of evergreen. Today we are going to be working on the entrance and I'm really really excited because entrances are like my favorite thing to do in this game and uh, I've been doing a lot on Llama Land as you guys have seen. I have more videos of that to release but right now we're focusing on evergreen for the month of December um, but you will see more of those entrance videos fairly soon afterward but generally I love creating entrances and coming up with different ideas and variations per season so I'm kind of taking what I learned from the video that's up now which is the five spaces or less so go, definitely go check it out what I learned from that while designing for you guys like I have some ideas to build here into evergreen so that's what we're going to get up to today and yeah let's get started So I'm also doing kind of a new format of editing for these build videos. They're gonna be shorter and quicker and I know you guys like longer videos, but I feel like for builds, it's just easier to just get through and show off the process in a very concise way and then have the big reveal at the end. I don't know, that's kind of the vibe I wanna try for the next couple videos, especially because I have a lot of content I'm working on for this month. So to begin, I actually started this entrance uh, before I started the recording because I kind of forgot because I was just so into it. This rectangle that I'm working with is 12 by 8, just for a reference for you if you would also like to recreate something similar on your islands. So I'm using my path that I designed on Riverwood because I really wanted to include it in this island so that's kind of why everything is brick and i think i'm going to design a whole new path that's kind of my hope for the future i really want to design a whole new path to add eventually to the island maybe for another season but sticking with the brick we're adding in the beautiful fountain because i love a fountain at the entrance i just think that is very welcoming and very formal and i love that about entrances <laughs> i'm adding these uh, faux stairs to give a little depth to the setup here i really enjoy that a lot and then of course we are adding in black street lamps to start because that is what i used on my previous island and i thought i would want to go with a darker theme for contrast in the snow like a black red and white that was what i originally thought but i'm having some trouble because i feel like it's to fall like this is very of a halloweeny vibe to me but i wanted to try varying up the fences and i really loved using the lattice fences on riverwood so i wanted to try it again but this time i want to try using the white gazebo and i'm going to replace the street lamps as well with white street lamps in a little bit because i just feel like it looked really nice and i think it also looks really nice for fall i'm a big fan of orange and white together so with replacing the street lamps with white ones, I was getting concerned that maybe this would blend too much with the snow, but we'll find out. It's not there yet, but I wanted to go ahead and replace the fountain as well. So everything is all white and I think it's beautiful, very elegant and almost garden core in a way. So if you're doing a garden core island, this could also work for you. I've tried a number of different partitions and designs for this wall. You guys know I did that on my previous video as well, just to give you guys ideas. I didn't like any of them personally for what I was going for on this island, but I hope some of you might see something that you want to try for yours, because if it appeals to you, go for it. But I did really consider that dark wood there of the wood partition, but still just with the vibes and the colors, I'm trying to stick to monochrome kind of style of the red only with the white. So that's why we switched up and trying these lattice fences still didn't work for me i went back to the stone and iron because somehow it just wait looks so much more uh, not necessarily city core but just very elegant and that's what i really loved about this build to begin with so we are sticking to the hedges and the stone and iron fencing i wish you could change the color of that fencing that's the one thing of the 2.0 update they missed is updating that fencing so wrapping it up with the corners with the topiaries and i just think it looks great so so wanted to search for a wreath because I had to add them to some street lamps just like I did on Amberino and just wanted to keep adjusting because I felt like it looked strange and it was taking up too much space in the walkway and I really like how it turned out. It felt very cozy and exciting and putting in these triangular topiaries really helped as well to like level out 
the look of things because it was a little too much with the street lamps and then of course adding our garden benches all white as usual and I liked them on the side but I also liked them facing forward it just felt like a better opportunity for photo ops if you wanted it and then I wanted to add trees to add some more dynamic shape to the front as well as make it more greenery and woodsy and very cute oh I love it so much this is so cute so so good and going through i took a break and kind of just wanted to set up the path of everything around here um so that's kind of just a really quick just snippets of me setting that up um i did decide that i wanted to include some um cedar trees to add to the winter part of it and i felt like it was just taking away from the wreaths but having it further back in this last bit is exactly what i think i needed it's still visible in the background but it's not hiding the wreaths off the street lamps and then i'm just continuing to go around all my pathways and doing this pattern of hedges and iron stone and iron fencing because I just think it looks really nice and everything looks cohesive and detailed and that is my favorite way to build. I wanted to leave these spaces open because these are meant to be plots for villagers so I wanted to have the entrance open for it. So here is my simple 12 by 8 um, entry for evergreen. I'm excited to like change it per season but I'm loving it right now. I think it's gonna look great in so many different seasons. So this is our current layout of the map. And just get an idea where everything is going the little dots kind of show where houses are gonna go and i really think it's coming along and i'm really really happy about it if you guys enjoyed the video please remember to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to be notified the next time i post if y'all are enjoying this series let me know i'm having a lot of fun with it and if you are getting any inspiration for your islands let me know as well i'd love to hear about it i love y'all so much hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye Text, get out. <laughs>